For factors in Rn, we have introduced a number of very useful concepts, like linear combinations, span, independence, basis, etc. It would be very nice if we can introduce similar concepts in general vector spaces. Can we do that? Yes, we can. We'll start with the generalization of the concept of linear combinations and span in this video. So suppose we have a set S of uh, V1 to Vk set of factors in V, which can be any vector space. Well, the linear combination of those factors is defined in exactly the same way as we define linear combination of factors in Rn. The linear combination of V1 up to Vk is a factor u of the form C1 V1 plus C2 V2 plus up to Ck Vk, where all those C1, etc., those are just weights, there are scalars, there are numbers in Rn. So the idea of a linear combination is exactly the same of, as a linear combination of factors in Rn. What about span? Well, it goes uh, the same way. The span of a number of factors in Rn is the set of all linear combinations of those factors. And we do exactly the same for span of factors in the general vector space. The span of S in this case is the set of all linear combinations of V1 up to Vk. So, for example, if we take uh, as our factors 1, 2, and t squared, if we take all linear combinations of 1, 2, and t squared, we can form all uh, second order functions. Uh, so that means uh, that the span of 1, t, and t squared is the whole P2 or V2. You can make all uh, polynomials in P2. Let's look at a bit more non trivial example. So we have three polynomials, P. Q and R, and we set W to be the span of the first two polynomials. And then we wonder whether this third one, R, is also in W. Well, R is in, the, uh, in W if R is in the span of uh, P and Q, so that means that if uh, R is in W of if R is in the combination of P and Q, so that means that we need to find weights C1 and C2 such that R is weights times p plus weight times q. So we have to find the c1 times p plus c2 times q, which is if we find the r. Now, how can we find such weights? Well, those polynomials are only the same if the coefficients in front of all powers of t are the same. So, for example, we have uh, for the 1, the coefficient c1 plus 2c2, that has to be equal to the one on the right hand side. We have a minus c1 t plus c2 t that has to be equal to the minus 4 t on the right hand side. So that gives us our second equation over here. And finally, we have our c1 t squared minus 3 c uh, minus 3 times c2 times t squared that has to be equal to 6, which gives us our third equation. So what do we have now? We have three equations in three unknowns. We have a linear system. Ah, but we know how to deal with linear systems. That means row reduction. So we form the augmented matrix and we start our row reduction. First, add once and subtract once over here. Then we get the next augmented matrix. We can uh, clean up some rubbish by dividing by 3 and dividing by minus 5. Ah, and then you see something nice is happening. You can subtract once. Well, let's make a, a reduced echelon form. Subtract twice. And then we have our reduced echelon form. And what do we spot? Uh, we can find C1 and C2 because we have 0 times C2 plus 0 times C1 plus 1 times C2 equals minus 1 over here. And 1 times C1 plus 0 times C2 equals 3 over here. So C1 equals zero, 3 and C2 equals minus 1. Our solution. And we conclude R equals C1 times P plus C2 times Q equals uh, uh, 3 times P plus minus 1 times Q. So R is in a combination of P and Q, which means that R is also uh, in uh, W. So that is an example of how you can do computations with linear combinations and spans uh, if you have a general vector space.